Howdy Pigeon Milk Story fans. Today I have a Warcraft 3 playthrough for you. And the reason I'm starting this new series is well there's two reasons. Um first reason I, l I want to get more people playing real time strategy games. And second reason um in my opinion, YouTube channel is like a TV channel. Um, like more series, the better. You can't have just one or two. This is boring. You need variety. Right. If you're new to this game, I can explain some of the basic things in it. And if you're experienced with the game, the first few minutes will be a bit basic. Um. Okay. There's four races in the game. You got Human, Orc, Undead and Night Elf. I'm playing as Night Elf and I'm versing Orc on normal difficulty. Because only recently I started playing this game again. I used to play it years ago. Um, yeah, and the Human... Humans also contain Dwarven units and High Elf units. Um, orcs also have things like taurans and trolls. Um, the night uh, undead, I mean, undead is just like skeletons and um, abominations. Night elf, you know, elves, basically. Right, doing a standard game. Um, you have to get resources and build up. The resources are gold and wood, you which you use to build and train units. Then you also have food, which in other words is population space. As night death you gain more of that by building thing buildings called moon wells, which also have the ability to heal and replenish mana. Um, right, to win this standard game, I have to destroy all of the enemy. Um, just for you to know, as well, there's a bit of extra information. I recorded this game a few days ago, now I'm just doing a voiceover of it. Watching it as I do this, then I'll just pull them together. Um, right, in this game, which is a bit different to other strategy games, there's a day slash night cycle. As you can see on the top centre, um, there's advantages and disadvantages for certain races, um, and creeps fall asleep. I'll explain what creeps are in a, in a few minutes, which makes nighttime scouting safer as well, because they're asleep. But as you can see, I'm playing on a revealed map, so I don't need a scout. Um, and the line of sight of most units is reduced at night time. I say most, because night elf units, I think, actually have increased line of sight. Because they are, you know, night elves. Um, okay, creeps are computer controlled units that are hostile to all players. Um, they guard key areas. Which is gold mines and neutral buildings like mercenary camps. You can see me fighting some creeps there, some gnolls and a bandit. Um, when you kill the creeps, your hero gains experience, gold, and the stronger creeps drop special items, as that gnoll brute did then, I believe. And my hero will pick her up any moment. Um, also in this game, it takes advantage of 3D terrain. And an example of this is units on a cliff have a bonus to their attack when attacking enemies lower down. Now I read that, I don't actually know if... You know, I haven't actually noticed it as I play, because there's not really any noticeable elevation differences. Um, on the heroes now, 
As you can see, I have my Keeper of the Grove, just cast a spell. Um, for each enemy unit killed, a hero will gain experience points, which levels up the hero to a maximum of 10. And as they level up, increases all the hero's attributes. You know, you've got strength, intelligence, agility, um, let me think, armor, attack, all stuff like that. And also, n you gain an ability to spell, spend a point on a spell. There's four spells in total. The first three have three levels to them. And there's an ultimate skill, which you can get at level six if you choose to. And it's more powerful than the other three spells. And heroes are the only units that can use buildings like mercenary camps or pick up items. Um, I think that's all I have to explain about the basics of the game at the, at the moment. I'm not sure if I've left anything out. Let's have a look what I'm doing here. Now the Ancient of War, that's like the barracks for the Night Elf. You create your basic fighting units. I like to line the front of my base with moon wells so that the one, it provides a form of wall. And two, they can heal my units when I go near them. I think I play a bit differently to the people who play <laughs> professionally. I had a quick look at some of the Japanese tournaments here on YouTube and I would probably be wiped out by now. Nature is restless. And see if I played on a hidden map I wouldn't know that the enemy is, is distracted. So Maybe I should play on a hidden map in the future, so I'm at an advantage. Oh well. <laughs> so shall it be. I'll just talk about some general stuff then. As you can see, my hero is, is about to cast Force of Nature, which br brings some of the trees to life. And this other ability that I've chosen there is called Thorn's Aura. It's like a protective shield, I guess, around units nearby. It reflects a percentage of the damage of melee attacks back at the enemies. That percentage increases for each level of Thorn's Aura that you get. As you can see, the first item in my hero's inventory then is a scroll of teleportation. Used once, your first hero created gets one. And while using it, your hero is invulnerable. And your hero and allied un your units nearby get teleported to a town centre, as I'll call them. Mine's the Tree of Life. Well, it's a Tree of Ages at the moment. Because advancing an age, like in other games, is done there and create your, uh, your workers there. I'm advancing to Tree of Eternity then. You get more buildings, units, upgrades, all that stuff. You can also create another hero when you le level up. Advancing age, I'll call it. Four heroes available, max of three for per game. If a hero dies, you have to revive him at the altar. Hunter's Hall, that's basically the blacksmith. My enemy putting up some towers to guard the gold mine then. When I play, I don't tend to level up by attacking creeps. I just attack the enemy. Alright, maybe I should change my game style throughout these videos. You'll see me improve. 
hopefully to beat the hard computer someday. <laughs> You probably want to upload videos of me losing. You probably don't want to see that, do you? Or you, maybe you do. Let me know if you do. some of the night elf buildings, like the Ancient of War and your Tree of Eternity, they are called, um, like Trents, um, and they can actually get up and move, walk around, because they're alive, and they can fight as well. So as you can see when I click it, it shows what damage they have. And night elf units, such as the, those archers and huntresses there, have the ability to hide at night. It's called Cloaks of Shadow, I think it's called. When they stand still, they're invisible to the enemy. Thinking of starting some more series at some point. Maybe playing some Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. Soulstorm expansion in particular. Um, some other games, some Lord of the Rings RTS games, like Battle of Middle Earth or War of the Ring. I think at some point we'll have some multiplayer games of Warcraft 3 up on the channel. As Harry said he might be getting it. And one one of our friends, Lewis Quok, might be getting it. Um I think Harry wanted to play as Undead. And Lewis wanted to be human, I believe. You'll see Lewis in some Age of Mythology videos. Now that power that I just got and used is called Entangling Roots. It's one of my favourite powers. I find it very useful. The enemy unit loses the ability to move and attack. And when an enemy hero is low on health and trying to run away, I use it then. I'm right, using the scroll teleportation then, as my hero got stuck in the archers. <laughs> He's about to die, so I didn't want to waste the time of making him again. You might have noticed as well that my wisps, which are the workers of the night elf, don't cut down the trees when they gather in lumber. But the orc undead and human do cut down the trees. As you can see I've got an ancient of law up and that can get dryads and druids of the claw. And also mountain giants as well were added in the expansion. Rarely have I used mountain giants. Research things. Research things. Just the soft in the enemy base. A waste of entangling roots then. <laughs> Draw head, that was nearly dead. 
think I find Orc the easiest to play against. I haven't actually first met Delph since I started playing again. Lost for Undead quite a bit. Human I can beat as well. The next gameplay will probably be Human. Me versus Human. Night Delph I'll be playing as again. As you saw then, I've also got a Priestess of the Moon up now, which is another Night Elf hero. She rides a, ti a white tiger, which is pretty cool. Just gonna get some dryads up there, and some huntresses. Now, the Priestess of the Moon has quite a useful ability, which I haven't got yet, but I will when she levels up and it's true shot aura and ranged units near her get a bonus to her attack and as you can see all of my units there are ranged so if she had it there it'd be quite useful may have noticed as well that the heroes and other spellcasters have mana underneath their health and my keeper of the grove there hasn't got enough mana for anything at the moment and it regenerates on its own you can get items like mana portions to um, give an instant recharge of it health portions you can get as well and all the different items to boost abilities as you can see my keep the growth then had something to increase the speed, I think it was. Boots of Quelth Alas, I think. And he's also got his level 6 skill now, his ultimate skill, which heals units around him. And the priestesses, Priestess of the Moon's ultimate skill is. I'm not sure what it's called, but like. Meteor stars fall from the sky and like hit all enemy buildings and units around me. That's again something I haven't used since starting playing again. What you're watching now is the first game I played for about um, two or three years. Two years, I think it is. And I had some practice games after this, like Lost to Undead, like I said earlier, Beat Human, the Human game is recorded ready. Not much strategy to warrant to win here. <laughs> create just creating um triads, archers and huntresses. Some of the more basic units of Night Elf. And just spamming them in. The enemy's hero, which is currently fallen in battle, was the Tauran Chieftain, and he's known as a warrior hero. He has some um, pretty powerful spells available in terms of damage. I think every hero, if not, no, not every hero, most heroes have the ability to give, give off an aura, like my thorns aura, or the true shot aura, not every hero has that ability, though. such as the orc blade master doesn't have it, or the 
Who man me? Mountain King. Mountain King. That's not a bit either. Uh, I think the game is nearly over now. Almost defeated them. They can't really do much now. I see they have no resources for it for the hero. They just created villagers there. You can see that by the light coming up to the doorway of the great hall. As you can see, I have one basically. Just have to destroy these buildings. I hope you check out all of our other videos. We got Age of Mythology, we got Kingdom Chronicles, Sneak Previewer, and some fish videos that I've done. Um, more will be joining all of those series soon. Check out the scores here. See what you think. Right, this has been Matt from Pigeon Milk Stories. Toodle pip.